What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and this is going to be a short video. I'm really just making this to show people where the werewolf shrine is because a lot of people are wondering where they can go in order to become a werewolf, where does their quest lead them to, and all that good stuff. Now this is one of multiple werewolf shrines that you can go to. This is the one that's located in the rift. So let's go ahead and check it out. So you guys can see what it looks like right there. So you know whenever you get into this area that this is exactly what it's going to be looking like. And uh, this is just like up a little hill here. You can look down there and there's a troll feeding on a bear that's apparently dead on the ground. So once you see that, if you're going up uh, north of, uh, let's see here, the shrine here which this is the full helm fort way shrine and then over here is the riften way shrine and it's all located in the rift here as you can see where my character is and then uh if you go just north of the giant camp you'll see my character is right there let's zoom in a little bit more there you go so if you get the quest that is if you look at the top right of my screen you'll see that i have the quest called Hercene's gift and that's the werewolf uh, transformation quest. If you get that and it tells you to go to the rift, then you are supposed to go to this one in particular. Now, like I said, there are multiple uh, werewolf shrines, so your quest may lead you to a different one. Uh, however, if you're going to meet up with a friend and going to become a werewolf, you're going to have them bite you in order to infect you with, uh, let's see, what's it called? The uh, Sanis uh, Lupinus, I guess that's how you say it, uh, Lycanthropy. And you have them turn you into a, uh, a werewolf. And then you'll get the, you'll be infected and be able to enter into the shrine. And it'll take you to the hunting grounds where you'll basically pray to the shrine. And then you'll have to kill like the biggest, baddest monster there or whatever it is, which is usually like a troll. I guess sometimes it's a mammoth or a couple other things, but it's usually a troll. So you go there and you kill that. All the pack of werewolves all come there and feed on it. And then it'll have you turn in the quest at the shrine once again. Then you come out and you're fully infected as a werewolf. Now, if you're wondering how you even become a werewolf, you can just ask somebody to turn you into one. If they have, uh, if they are a werewolf themselves, they can have this particular ability here called Blood Moon, and it allows them to bite one player every seven days and infect them with it. So uh, get a friend that has this, that has their, their skill line worked up with the, uh, the werewolf line, and they can come here and infect you and then you can go right into the shrine and do the quest all right hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i hope to do like a really in-depth uh guide on how to become a werewolf uh all the things that are good about it all the things that are bad about it and uh vice versa with the vampire line as well i'll probably do more videos on what where the other shrines are as well so that people that are looking for them will be able to find them and I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.